Good evening, Ipsic peeps. It is your humble Ken Judo here, perhaps better known as Dave S. And I wanted to take a couple of minutes and give you all a brief tour of practice score. As you know, Ipsic Alberta has adopted practice score for our electronic scoring, and the practice score system will make its debut in earnest this coming Sunday at Q9 in Calgary. The purpose of this demo is really just to give you an understanding of how practice score works from a high level perspective and in particular, how scores are entered on stages. The CROs and ROs in the crowd should take particular note. Things will be considerably different with respect to how we manage stages going forward. Long gone are the paper and pen based scoring methods that we've been accustomed to, and the paper and pen has been replaced by the tablet. So what you see here is the home screen of Ipsic Alberta Master Tablet 01. Now the tablets that will be used for entering scores on the stages are slightly smaller than this tablet, but I've selected this one simply because the screen size is larger and I'm hoping that that'll result in a somewhat more useful video presentation. Alright, so the bottom of the screen we see the practice score icon and the default Samsung apps group. In order to launch this e uh, practice score application, simply touch the icon and the practice score application opens. Here we see the practice score main menu. In the upper left hand corner indicates that this is the PowerPoint demo match. It's an IPSC match, level 2, and the device being used is the IPSC ABMT01 tablet. That's the IPSC Alberta Master Tablet 01. In order to enter scores, we simply select the Enter Scores option from the practice score main menu. We are then presented with a list of stages. So let's say for sake of discussion that this tablet is being used to score stage number two. Select stage two from the list and a list of available squads is presented. For further sake of discussion, let's say that the first squad of the day on this particular stage is squad three. Select that squad from the list and the competitors on squad three are displayed. It's quite a colorful cast of characters on this particular squad. So let's say that the first shooter up for stage two is Dirty Harry. We select that shooter from the squad list and the stage details are displayed. First things first, we need to enter Mr. Dirty Harry's time for this particular stage. So let's say that Harry shot this stage in 12.32 seconds. So we enter the time accordingly. Once the time has been entered, simply select Done. And that brings us to the target scoring portion of the, uh, of the app. As you can see, target numbers are listed down the left-hand side. This particular stage consists of 10 paper targets. In order to enter scores for a particular target, you simply tap in the corresponding score box on that target's line. So let's say for target number one, Harry shot two alphas. We simply touch twice in the alpha box for target one. And two alphas are displayed. Say for target two, Harry shot an alpha and a Charlie. Now, once the maximum number of scoring hits are entered on a particular target line, that target line turns green. In the event that the scores have been misentered, simply touch the target number itself and that score line is cleared and the scores can be re-entered. Looks like Harry objected to the Charlie. The CRO agreed and Harry gets the Alpha. For target 3, Alpha, Charlie, 2 Alpha, 2 Alpha, Alpha, Delta, 2 Alpha, <clears throat> Alpha, uh-oh, Mike, and a no-shoot that 44 Magnum's not working, 2 Alpha, and Alpha Charlie. So once all of the targets have been satisfied, so to speak, that is to say, the maximum number of scoring hits have been entered for each of the available targets, you'll notice down here in the left-hand corner that it indicates that the stage status is complete. Now in order to review Harry's scores, bottom right-hand corner, Simply touch the review button and a summary of Harry's pass on stage two is displayed. You can see in the upper left hand corner the shooter is Dirty Harry. 
shooting in production, scoring minor. These are his uh, summary results for stage two. Date on which the stage was shot and the time, and then the scoring summary. 16 alphas, two charlies, one delta, one mic, and one nasty no-shoot. Harry's time for the stage is 12.32 seconds, and his hit factor was 5.4383. So once Harry is spit and kicked in the dust a little bit about the no-shoot, he agrees there's nothing that can be done about it now. Press and save button, and Harry's scores are committed to the match. And that returns us to the squad list, currently shooting stage two. Now you can see next to Harry's name that there's a green icon indicating that Harry's pass for this particular stage has been entered. Let's say that our next competitor on this particular stage is the Easter Bunny. The stage summary, or pardon me, uh, stage uh, details are displayed for stage two for the Easter Bunny. Let's say that the Easter Bunny took his time. 18.64 seconds. Once the time has been correctly entered, press done. And that brings us to the target scoring detail. Now, given that the Easter Bunny took his sweet time, here's hoping that he shot all A's. Uh-oh. Alpha Charlie. Too much chocolate for the Easter Bunny. And two alphas. Again, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it indicates that all of the targets have been satisfied. Maximum number of scoring hits have been entered for each target. Time to review. Lower right-hand corner. And the stage summary for the Easter Bunny on Stage 2 is displayed. Easter Bunny, Standard Major, Stage 2. The date, time that the Easter Bunny shot the stage, and then his score summary. 19 Alphas, 1 Charlie in a time of 18.64 seconds. Results in a hit factor of 5.3112. Once the Easter Bunny's reviewed his scores and he's satisfied that they've been entered correctly and the time's been entered correctly, simply press the save button and those scores are committed to the match. Again, we're returned to the squad list, presently shooting on stage two. Let's say next up, Winston Churchill. Classic minor for Churchill. Let Churchill's pass in a time of 15.87 seconds. Not too bad for an old geezer. Time has been correctly entered, so we press done. And it's time to move on to scoring targets. Alpha Charlie, Alpha Charlie, 2 Alpha, 2 Alpha, Alpha Delta, 2 Alpha, Alpha Charlie, Alpha Charlie, but wait a second, Churchill's not happy with the Charlie, calls for an overlay, RO puts the overlay on the target, says, sorry Winston, that's a Charlie. Winston appeals to the CRO, the CRO comes over, and in deference to the statesmanly Churchill, says, no, you know what, I think that touches the line. So in order to make that correction, we simply press on the target number itself, that target line is cleared, and lo and behold, Winston gets his two alphas. Two alpha for target nine, and alpha Charlie. Once again, down here in the lower left-hand corner, the stage is complete. We review the scores. We give Winston a chance to take a peek. Now, Winston, despite the fact that he's an old geezer, has good ears, and he recalls hearing the RO yell out 15.78 seconds as opposed to 15.87 seconds, as you can see here. So in order to make that correction, rather than hitting save to commit these scores to the match, we select the back button, and that takes us back to the stage detail. Here we have an opportunity now to modify the time to correspond with the time shown on the timer, 15.78 seconds. Target detail is still correct, and so we select review. Ah, that's better. 15 alpha, 4 charlie, 1 delta. 
time of 15.78 seconds and a hit factor of 5.5767. Churchill satisfied, and so with his British finger, he presses save, and his scores are committed to the match. We continue this process, obviously, until all of the shooters on stage two have been scored. If you give me just a minute, I'm going to pause the video, enter some quick scores for the Tooth Fairy, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman, and then we'll pick up right here where we left off. Alright, so I've entered scores for the remaining shooters on this particular squad. And you can see now that all of the shooters have green indicators next to their names. That shows us that all of the shooters have completed the stages and their scores for this particular stage have been committed to the match. You take a peek at the Wolfman's pass down there. That fuzzy dude had a little bit of trouble with this particular stage. Got some hair caught in the action and jammed up his gun and so much for that. Standard minor anyways. He's in some serious trouble. Alright, so we've completed this particular stage for squad 2. Let's return to the squad list. Oh, excuse me, that was squad 3, not squad 2. So, next squad shows up on the stage. Squad number 2. We select squad 2 from the available list. And there we have the competitors for squad 2. <laughs> Osama Bin Laden, Mother Teresa, and Mahatma Gandhi teamed up with Godzilla and King Kong. Baby, I would love to be a fly on the wall at that stage. Alright, so some of the finer points of scorekeeping. Let's say that King Kong, who as you can see is shooting open major, is our first shooter. Entering King Kong's time. 16.69 seconds. Time has been correctly entered. And now we go on to the stage detail. In the event that a target has incomplete scores entered, I'm just going to quickly enter some random scores here for King Kong's pass on this particular stage. Notice down here that because there's a deficiency on one of the targets, the status indicates incomplete. If I press review at this point, it indicates to me that I must complete scoring before the shooter can review their scores. Go back to the stage detail. Oh, there's the problem. Target 1 only has one hit entered. Enter a Charlie. That satisfies the maximum number of scoring hits for each target on the stage, and you can see at the lower left that the stage is now complete. In the unlikely event that an RO or a CRO fat fingers the stage detail, and we wind up with something twisted. Notice down here now, status indicates excess shots. If I were to try and review the scores at this point, I get an indication that we have to complete scoring before the shooter can review their scores. Press OK. That gives me an opportunity to go back, and I can plainly see that target 1 is a mess. I need to clear the scores for target 1, so I simply press the target number itself, that clears the target line and I can enter the appropriate scores. We now see down here at the bottom that the um, stage pass is complete for King Kong. All of the targets have the appropriate number of scoring hits on them. We can now review the King Man scores. 15 alphas, 3 Charlies, and 2 deltas. Given that King Kong is satisfied with that, commit his scores to the match. And so, I can keep going and scoring all of these shooters for you, but it's not going to be of much more detail or, or provide much more benefit than what we've already seen. That said, I hope this little video is of some use as a very brief introduction to how practice score operates. It's so simple that even a range master can do it.